Well, first of all, there's a, it's not just me. There was a national, a, a global study that was just released this week, which had, said France had more startups than any other country in Europe. Uh, and the French tech label is a, a good way of marketing and positioning the concept that France is a home for innovation and entrepreneurs. I think it's cumulative. It is never enough to just do one thing and rest on your laurels. You must be continually reinventing yourself and pushing the limits and focusing on policies, laws, investment, taxes, um, skills, labor, culture, attitude to encourage risk-taking and innovation. And making it uh, easier to start a company. How many days does it take to launch? How can, quickly can you hire people? Can you even fire people? Those are all important things to keep looking at as a, as a society to encourage innovation in startups. Any, any investment is risky. Uh, so what investors want is higher returns. An advantage of innovation, if you're truly innovative and in technology, there are potentially higher returns. And obviously the, the amount of returns affected by taxes, it's affected by the cost of the inputs and the length of time it takes. So it's, it's a matter of uh, France shouldn't say we want to be as good as the United States. Uh, they should say let's take the best of what the U.S. and other countries do and figure out how we can make it better playing off the unique strengths which France has. And I go through very few countries where I say that that country has incredibly unique strengths. France has incredibly unique strengths. And it has a global reputation in so many areas that are directly tied in with innovation that it, French tech is a natural. Because Andre invited me. Good reason. And it's because it's the best. Um. It also has an incredibly hospitable, forward looking, smart, nice people, has great liqueur <laughs> and wonderful food. And the focus of the startup community here being just launched and very new is very exciting to me.